Tomorrow morning, SpaceX will launch its new spaceship on a critical test flight. This is the first time a commercially built and operated spaceship capable of carrying people one day will travel to the International Space Station. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman is at the Kennedy Space Center. SpaceX Dragon, we are visors down. It's final approach for NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley. Straight ahead, the International Space Station. All right, there's 10 meters. But they're not 250 miles above Earth. This is a training simulation at the headquarters of SpaceX in Hawthorne, California. Soft capture confirmed, attenuation in progress. Benkin and Hurley, both space shuttle veterans, will be the first astronauts to climb aboard a Falcon 9 rocket and into SpaceX's new ship called Crew Dragon. And liftoff. Falcon 9 is the company workhorse, launching 20 times last year. But Crew Dragon needs a successful test flight called Demo 1 before SpaceX can fly people. The goal prove it can safely dock and undock from the space station re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, and splash down off the Florida coast. And we have splashed down. So your mission is riding on the success of Demo 1. Certainly. The only way to really demonstrate it is to fly it and prove it. You know, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. It's the, the show-me state. And uh, having those successes under your belt goes a long way to giving confidence. And if something's going to go wrong, you want it to go wrong when it's uncrewed. Yeah, when we're not on the rocket, absolutely. The final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. Once the space shuttle program ended in 2011, NASA has had one option to get to the space station, hitch a ride with the Russians. A round trip ticket on a Soyuz rocket costs $81 million per seat. That is now changing. NASA has hired two companies, SpaceX and Boeing, to design and build new space taxis. We are on the brink of launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. Jim Bridenstine is NASA's administrator. Some of this is American pride. Prestige. I like to use the word prestige. Great nations should be able to, to launch their own astronauts into space. Dragon SpaceX for C2V2. Both companies have learned space is hard. Both are running more than two years behind schedule. And with neither yet certified to fly people, NASA is considering buying two more Soyuz seats to guarantee continued American access to the space station. Are you concerned about the delays? So we don't like delays. We, we don't like delays. But worse than a delay is launching something that's not ready. Mission success and safety is the number one overriding concern, and we're not going to do anything to put these crew in jeopardy. There is no cost or schedule pressure here whatsoever. Inside the Crew Dragon capsule, SpaceX will send up a dummy named Ripley, a smart dummy equipped with sensors to gauge the impact of this flight. Mark Strassman, CBS News, at the Kennedy Space Center.